dear seventh semester mechanical engineering students i welcome you all into my channel again after a long long time hope you are all doing well so again i am with the passing package series for you students so today i am with your first subject of your seventh semester that is automation and robotics so this is newly added subject to the 2021 scheme students uh, somehow a little bit syllabus is uh, matching with the 18th scheme so i have taken here the number of questions so the number of possible questions whatever the vt will ask over there so i have taken more number of questions you can refer these questions in order to score in this particular subject right so the subject code is uh, 21 me 71 let us discuss here module wise uh, the important questions which we will ask actually this time we don't have any reference paper for this subject that is why i have taken number of questions okay so you have to go through these uh, varieties of questions the vtu may ask over here so explain the basic elements of an automated system with the need diagram Describe advanced automation functions with examples and differentiate between process industries and discrete manufacturing industries with examples. This is the possibility and uh, contrast and compare questions uh, mostly it is asking like compare continuous control and discrete control with suitable applications and explain the levels of automation in manufacturing systems. Next possibility may be uh, describe the hardware components used in automation and process control systems and write a short note on sensors and actuators used in automation systems. Next is explain computer process control and its role in automation and what are ADC and DAC explain their working principles and importance in automation. So last question we have here discuss input or output devices used for discrete data in automated systems. So this is all about model first. So if you want to pass only then one way is uh, just cover three modules fully and take some important questions from rest of the two modules that is the one way of passing the subject right so if you want to score then definitely you have to go for all the modules by covering these important questions which uh, vt will surely ask in the examination so module second we are having uh, explain the fundamentals of automated production lines with a neat sketch discuss the applications of automated production lines in the manufacturing industries so try to fill more number of pages your answer booklet comprises of 44 pages so it is better to fill more than 30 pages for these type of theoretical subjects and next we have explained the analysis of transfer lines with and without storage buffers and what are the automated assembly systems explain their working principles and types describe the fundamentals of automated assembly systems with suitable examples and uh, next possibility may be perform a quantitative analysis of assembly systems and explain its importance and what is barcode technology explain its working principles and applications in automated systems explain the concept of radio frequency identification uh, rift and uh, sorry rift technology and its application next we have uh, describe various automatic identification and data capture technologies and compare barcode technology and rift in terms of working advantage and application don't have to remember all the theoretical portions just write down the key points and try to understand the concept then you can write down in your own words whatever you have understood from those type of concepts in the examination right so you can also refer chat gpt for your preference just insert the question so that you will remember the key points only then by those uh, key points you can just remember you can just recall whatever you have studied in that particular key point so now coming to the model third here we have explained the different types of robotic configurations with examples and discuss the types of robot control systems with their working principles next we have explained the open loop and closed loop control systems in robotics and uh, next possibility maybe explain the various types of sensors used in the robotics and their applications so sensor part is uh, important one as far as uh, previous schemes are concerned which is asking these type of questions like sensors actuators and uh, etc so discuss the applications of industrial robots in manufacturing and assembly lines and define robot accuracy and repeatability this may be the uh, question of six marks or ten marks sometimes if they will give this question in combined combination explain the factors affecting them classify robots based on their types and explain their characteristics 
and uh, explain the concept of degrees of freedom in robots with examples and state and explain SEMO's law of robotics discuss their relevance in modern robotics and what is dynamic stabilization in robots explain its importance so these are the 10 questions from your model third now coming to the model fourth we are having here compare pneumatic hydraulic and electric actuators in terms of their working principles advantages and limitations and explain the working principle of stepper motors and discuss their applications in robotics so next we have described the working principles of position sensors like potentiometers resolvers and encoders and discuss the application and significance of velocity sensors in robotics coming to the fifth question uh, explain the working and application of uh, tactile and proximity sensors in industrial robotics and derive the forward kinematics of a symbol of a simple robotic manipulator using dh notation and what is dh notation explain its importance in representing robotic kinematics with an example and derive the transformation matrix for a robotic arm using dh parameters so this is all about model fourth now coming to the model fifth explain the labels of robot programming with examples what are the key requirements of a robot programming language discuss the common problems associated with uh, robot programming lang languages Describe the concept of offline programming systems and their advantages and what are the central issues in offline programming systems Last three questions we are having explain the process of automating subtasks in OLP systems with examples and write and explain a simple robot program for a pick and place operation so pick and place operation is most important one compare online and offline robot programming in terms of flexibility and efficiency so these are some varieties of questions which we will ask so I have already told you this is the new subject for the 2021 scheme so there is no paper for your reference so better to just have an eye on this particular important question so in this way we you can ask the questions in this particular subject so I wish you all the best for your examinations make sure you will just refer these important questions pause the subject and also score in this particular subject thank you